Hey everybody, welcome to a... There was a thing that GW did day. And, um, you know, I was sitting there watching their little preview stream or reveal stream and sitting there going, man, these low energy uh, Stormcast are really not doing it for me. I sure hope that they phone it in with the roadmaps. And speaking of, we got one, two, three, four, Four uh, more Stormcast characters. Thanks for getting that bloat back up there, G-dubs. And then two units for the Stormcast. Cool. Wonderful. Really, really trying to reach for the stands there. And then uh, there, there's this abomination that they're referring to as a, a roadmap. Which, if you go back and look at the old... Um, Horse Heresy roadmap kind of tells you just how bad this is. This is at least a, the first Age of Sigmar. It's a little bit better because at least you get some factions shown in pictures. You get told a couple things. But when you get over to... Oh, let's start with something good. 40k. Alright, well we know that all the RRA, the Elder... The Imperial Knights and the uh, Militarum are getting um, codexes. Though I'm a little bit confused on if the Def Corps is actually getting its own codex or they're being fully revamped like the regiments of old, which would have been the better. I'm hopefully that's the way they go. But then it's just like, plus codexes, big names, and special chaos treats. Oh cool <laughs> this is the one of the shittiest roadmaps that i've seen in a while it's underwhelming it's not very readable it also doesn't feature showing much so cool congratulations we didn't even get like a preview model like one core of krieg guy maybe um a new eldar character or like one of the unit that's coming up anything we didn't even get really pictures that hadn't been recycled on this like they're not even trying the uh the old world it got we, we know empire and high elves are coming everybody knew empire and high elves are coming but hey did you know more factions uh, and that there will be army boxes and heroes and they'll be made out of different materials wow and then when you, you get to the next step and beyond, even more to come. Oh, jeez. Don't. Don't spoil me with such mystery. You know, the point of a roadmap is to tell you where you're going, what you're getting. I don't think uh, Games Workshop pays enough money for the people actually doing this. Or maybe something's going on. And then we get to the only thing I actually cared about. And it was even more disappointing than pretty much all the others, in my opinion. The Horus Heresy Roadmap. Or, why? Now, the best part about it is the background. I like the little star map and the black and white. That's nice. We could critique that. No? Okay. So... Did you know that you're going to get a new release every month? You know, like GW does. Okay. Okay, what about tanks? Wow. Descriptive. I mean, they could have said tracked vehicles, and I've been like, <gasps> like farming equipment? And to be like, no, silly tanks. Like, what? Okay, preview at least one tank. You have art of them. I know you do. And more. In Legion Imperialis. Okay, cool. Oh, and look. And beyond. Even more to come in 2025. Oh, those crazy guys. They bless us with such utter mediocrity and disappointment. This is a hype stream. How do you manage to screw that up? How do you manage to take something whose entire point is to hype people up and get them excited? And I don't give a shit about Blood Bowl. 
I'm sorry. I know a lot of people like it, but... Okay, there's another edition, and it's going to have some Chaos Dwarves. Probably the best part of the whole thing, because they cruised right through it. That's how much they cared. We'll sit there forever talking about freaking Stormcast, but you know, a whole new edition for a game that's fairly well loved and respected by the community. Oh, we'll just show some images and then tell you there's going to be a new edition. Wow. How do you, how do you mess up? There need there should be people fired for something this disappointing. They probably overspent on the presentation too. I mean, they had to turn the lights on and then they had to waste these designers time to come into a room to tell people nothing. Nothing. They told you nothing. Like, hey, here's an idea, dipshits, and I'll give it to you for free. Um, when you're marketing to get people excited about a product to come out in the future, you know, the thing that you guys constantly try to do, um, you show little teases. You have the a, a, a shadow of an, a unit. Ooh, what unit could that be? What, ooh, I wonder what all was going to be involved in that. No, you didn't even do that. You showed some stuff in an article for Blood Bowl. Which is great. Those models have a pretty good amount of character. But you didn't even talk about it that long. Let's be perfectly honest. Then you show low T Stormcast. Which most of that release is just freaking character models. Welcome to the bloat ladies and gentlemen. Does it feel primaris to you? Even 40k. Well, okay. Well we have some concrete things. Idea that things are going to happen and exist. But... If you're getting a mystery of, I wonder if they're going to put out new codexes. Well, my God, don't go near a roller coaster, ladies and gentlemen. You might have some problems. That might be too much excitement for you. The, the reality of this thing is, they said roadmaps, and their idea of a roadmap is a picture that vaguely suggests things exist, and that's it. That's like, hey, how do I get down to the gas station? Well, here's a picture of the planet. And here's a, uh, I'm going to write on this picture, gas. There you go. There's your roadmap. Congratulations. Hope you get there. What the literal hell? How does a marketing department fail this hard at doing something this simple? It's a hype stream. This is a victory lap. And you turned it into me having diarrhea after going to Taco Bell. Well, it doesn't make me super excited about my next trip. Well, imagine if Taco Bell actually advertised that. You'll get the taco shits. Wow, that's going to really get those people upsold. Good lord, Plastic Crack Company. Could you actually manage to do actually something that makes some degree of sense sells people on a thing that you're trying to get them to buy or do you actually realize how little you have to do to get people excited about any of your products the fact that the blood angels re release no matter how you feel was underwhelming low effort this whole thing reflects that and i'm going to continue complaining that this product is garbage they ask too much give so little in return in, ter in terms of quality and then they can't even manage to do something basic like show a model and then tell people definitively what they're getting this sounds like there's some kind of problem which you know i'm not going to speculate but it sounds like there's a problem like something is going on did Skaven Tide not sell so well, G-dubs? Are some of those boxes just not moving the way they were? Is there something else going on? I mean, is Tony Stark holding your CEO hostage? What is going on with this kind of thing? Where you can't even show prototypes in shadow? I don't know. I was expecting 
very, very little. I expected nothing, and somehow they managed to dig under that expectation and make it even worse. This is building your house on the side of a river and watching it fall in the river and going, huh, well, at least it didn't blow up. So, you know, congratulations, everybody. We have roadmaps that say roadmap on them. Awesome. Success. Let's get those astronauts back to town. We'll, we'll take a paper plane and throw it at the sky. Have a fantastic day, everybody. Bye-bye.